Okay, so today we are going to be discussing the best crypto airdrops for the month of March. But before we do that, I need to make two very important announcements. Number one, there has been an increase of scammers going around at this point in the cycle. So beware of people DM you out of the sudden and asking you to download something. These are phishing scams. There's malware in the files that they basically ask you to download can be a web3 game or something else and then people sometimes contact you for our job we're going to be giving you a moderator position and we're going to be paying you this and this and this but you need to download this file first do not do that do not enter into video phone calls with other people throughout zoom zooms would be totally out of question by the way and so there's a lot of scams going on and phishing scams also have evolved in solana and so i really recommend two things installing wallet guard obviously or pocket universe on your extension on your browser or obviously get a cold wallet some of these hardware wallets can be directly connected to your web3 wallet whatever it's metamask or bidget wallet or okx wallet that is the most safest way to basically interact on these web3 applications yes it needs a bit of an extra hassle and a bit of extra money in case you're going to be buying some of those wallets but it's highly recommended that you do so because there's so much scams going around at this point the second point I need to make is the urgency of the cycle. We are nearing to March now, and obviously there's many months still for the bull run to, you know, eventually end. So it's maybe the end of the year or start of the next year. Nobody really knows, but what I'm trying to say is that there's like at least 300 drops which are going to be happening this year. So there's a lot of things to grind. And now, if ever in your life you want to be putting all things aside and allocating much time as possible as you can to this airdrop farming, because they're not going to be anything like this in the next year or the year after. It's going to be very minimal compared to this. Yeah, I think in the future there will be some good airdrops still, but this is going to be the big airdrop cycle, and they're not going to be these free making money opportunities like. Uh, in in the next cycles, but let's let's move on and Before we go into the eventual list, which is actually filled with a lot of good opportunities I do want to remind people to check out my airdrop spreadsheet Which I've basically been mentioning on every single video, but who knows there might be new people to the channel and This can be found on the description down below. It has a lot of updated information about well, there's SoFi codes, there's EVM chains listed out, airdrop, airdrop tools that you can use to check whatever you've been getting allocation and things like that. When I'm updating this on a daily basis, so make sure you're going to be checking it out. Okay, starting off, we had the Linea Park quest line. We did talk about this thoroughly already on my recent Linea video. Go check that out in case you want a full rundown. But right now, their second week, which has started out, and we got five new quests here. Most of them seem to be working. There seems to be bugs on the Yuldo one right now. I'm not being able to complete it. And then there is the Ender's Gate, which hasn't started out as of right now. So that's going to be starting out later. I think it's going to be in a couple of days. I'm looking three days here. So very, very soon. And you need to do the proof of humanity tests in order to get points on the linear park. And this is just saying, you know, Probably one LXP is probably equaling minimum of one dollars. It could be three dollars. We don't know at this point, but there's going to be gas, gas costs in this quest chain. And that's fine because the value of the actual linear points and the experience is very, very huge. So you just have to take it to the chin and continue. But this is by far the most important thing on this list. Moving on, we have this new chatting, like a, it's like a new Telegram slash Discord called Beeble. And they actually did a listing right today, in matter of fact, on multiple different exchanges. This is February 28th as I'm recording this video. And so far it's been released on multiple big exchanges here, Binance, Missing, and Coinbase. And they are going to be doing an airdrop. And you can join into this platform. And there's different types of rooms that you can join. There's like different cities like Tokyo, Seoul. I think there's like Los Angeles probably here. All the major cities are here. Okay. 
and they are free to join, I think for the most part. There might be some small things attached. People are also spamming refo links here. I don't know how effective it is. Um, there's, there's not really a lot of moderation, so you can do it pretty freely, I'm just saying. So this might be a great place to get referrals in case you want to. We have our own room here as well, which I'm going to be le leaving also in the description. And by chatting here, you are going to be getting points by doing so. So that's actually pretty good. And there are a lot of lot of different criteria here. So let's go on into running our own your chat room is going to be giving you points. Doing a daily GM. Um, GMing three times a week. Sending 1,000 messages per week, following accounts, reacting to things. You're able to also like send out points to people. So I can send out five points to him. And now I send that this is going to be uh, part of the quests here. And then obviously going to be getting stuff from referrals. I'm going to have limited codes there. I don't know how many people can use them. So basically join before you can do. And this is all gas free. There's no th money attached and just try to get many points as possible okay and this is different from the other sofi platforms because those are very influencer based this one allows basically everybody to uh start grinding and then there are like nft tabs here and what else do we have well i don't, I don't think anything else we need to really cover here but you can create your own rooms join many rooms some rooms might have a cost to enter but the points are very not existent right now so go ahead and pay the things because the points are not the spending of your points might be a one criteria just saying that but let's move on we have interact quest line for starknet called the DeFi spring this is going to be going from 22nd of february till the 22nd of march one month and they saying one quest every second day meaning 15 different quests in total four well five have been released right now and the next one is going to be in two days well i guess they already kind of like backpedaled on their promise of having quests of every second day well actually today we had one no so never mind that and these are well the first one is really easy just connecting your socials and the other ones are really involved with providing liquidity into these exchanges which just on different pairs. The USD to USDC is probably one of the better ones because there's not going to be a lot of impermanent loss there. Just saying. And the question really is that will Starknet do another allocation for the people who this, do this campaign? And are these projects, because we have to understand that none of these projects here on this list, there's seven different AMMs um, here on this list and lending protocols, none of them have their tokens yet. So are they also going to be participating on this campaign and providing tokens to people who have participated on this thing? And I also want to remind people that Bravos and Starknet, uh, sorry, Argent wallets haven't done airdrops either. So there's a lot of airdrops about to be releasing on Starknet in the upcoming weeks. So people got really mad about the initial allocation and all that, I understand. But there's still money to be made here. Just saying, but I don't know what is the best strategy here. Are you going to be giving out $20 of volume to all of these seven ones? Good question. It's going to be significantly cheaper to do after the Tengun upgrades goes live next month. But then again, at that point already, well, we are already, well, maybe you can do them at that point. It doesn't really matter. Moving on, we have a gaming placed airdrop, 100% free to do. It also has a paid option called... Kuroro Beasts, we talked about this on my Arbitrum video. I'm also, they are gonna, they also have a referral program going on and I've been planning to actually allocate some of my referral winnings into a giveaway for the channel. So we're gonna be doing some type of airdrop for the people who are gonna be participating and playing this game. So make sure you're gonna be grinding out to level 10 guys. That will help you, help my, with my airdrop and it will help you to get a higher ranking on the leaderboards, which will get you more points on the eventual play to earn airdrop that they're doing. It's this is under farmed, guys. Under farmed web three game. It plays like Pokemon, pretty simple to do if you've all played Pokemon. You know how this works. There's elementals and some do extra damage to the other. Um, etc. But it's it's not another one to basically to very much consider as of a game right now to grind. But let's move on. Then we have a very, very interesting entry. 
called Superform. And you need to do a Galax quest to basically get access to this. Very easy, just so, so follows. And the idea here is really that we are allowed to choose our vault. Let's say I choose this one and I'm going to be choosing deposit here. And then I will be going into um, to this page here and I can select my funding token. So it says here, uh, wrap VTC, but I can actually allocate something else. So I can just give like some other liquid token like optimism token or usdc or let me actually refresh this so it will actually show out uh the things properly let me see if it actually shows up now so basically i am allowed to do any form of a token that is basically supported on the platform now we got so i can actually add arbitrum here and even though this yield farming is happening on ethereum i can also contribute the money from a different chain so this is kind of like a lot of loops and hoops and things. What, so what's the big idea, you ask? The big idea here is not only Superform does not have their own token, there is multiple different things. So I can take a random transaction here, which has been done. Let's take this one. And here we see the things that the transaction is doing. Like what, what are these things that are happening? So one of the big things here we have, for example, it did a bridging on Stargate. Then it got confirmed on layer zero and hyperlane. So it's going through to different layer two bridges and L1 bridges and using different types of protocols, which are all tokenless. So basically, as some people posted initially on Twitter about the strategies that is basically in some cases, farming you six different airdrops with one single transaction. So this person that basically participated on the Allo, you know, DeFi protocol, which is the one that I recommend doing because last time I checked, they don't have a token yet. So this guy is basically farming out the Allo token, um, the potential layer two zero, because I think Stargate and layer zero are the, they are the same. I mean, Stargate is using layer zero technology and then you're using Hyperlane also. So there's three drops here. And in some cases by doing certain other transactions, you're doing other things as well. So there might be base airdrop also on top of it, but I don't actually think that base will be doing an airdrop. So you get my gist here. It's basically allowing you to gain a lot of transactions or a lot of interactions with a one single transaction that you will be doing throughout the dashboard. And obviously you will be getting yield on top of these things. And some of the yields are pretty good, 25%, on DAI here, for example, through Polygon and etc. But I don't really pay much attention to the yields. I look at like, okay, what are token lists here? What, what is Sandlock? I never heard about it. Does this have a token? And this is what I would be interacting with. So a lot of different yield strategies here, which are gonna be allowing you to interact with these uh, protocols which might be doing the airdrop. So very, very good in, in, uh, efficient strategy to, to look into. But let's move on. We have another Linea XP quest. This is called Clutch. Very easy. You follow them, do the Twitter quests. Then you go into this website. And here on this website, you need to do a prompt. I'm going to be paying gas on Linea once only, once only. And then you're going to be getting the prompt. And then after a certain period of time, it's basically going to be doing your creation. And once the creation is done, um, like here, for example, I can do this and and I can mint it. And once this mint has been done, the quest is basically done. This was down, it's gonna be costing you a bit like $1.87. Maybe I can do a bit of a lower gas fee for this minting. And after the transaction has gone through, I'm just gonna verify this and I'm gonna be getting, what was it? Was it 200 LXP? Well, how much was this actually giving out? I can see I'm probably blind right now, but this is going to be giving you free LXP and then there's a referral thing in case you want to sign under me. But a very, very, very good plan in my opinion. So because it's a very easy quest to do. And there we go. I have done my quest. Yeah, I guess it's 150, 150 XP or whatever, but worth doing. But let's move on. Then we have the Coinbase wallet. Currently Coinbase wallet on the mobile side is and maybe... Uh, do they have an extension right now? I have to actually check on that. They do, and maybe on the extension side, but at least on the mobile, there's currently multiple ongoing quests. 
some of them are going to be paying you $25 in optimism and some other tokens. Some of those quests are also on protocols that are tokenless. So I recommend doing them. There's maybe five of them right now. Uh, maybe I should be opening up my phone to see. And most of them do not, most of them might be requiring a bit of money, but the reward is higher than the money involved. But most of them should be free. So this is another one that I really recommend doing because also the Coinbase wallet in itself is actually rather good. It supports EVM addresses, Bitcoin, and you know, yada, yada, yada. So it is a very good Web3 wallet, at least on mobile side of things, I would probably prefer it as one of the best. And let me just, well, I can look this later, but I'm just gonna leave it on somewhere in the comments section. Let's move on. Then we have TIA, testnet. So people who are looking for free testnet transactions, to do this one is definitely one to look into because Tia protocol has raised $15 million. So anything that has raised $5 million or more is very, very good to farm as an airdrop. And it's just like really doing email linking and filling your profile and connecting a GitHub account and it doesn't need to be active GitHub account or anything like that. And then there is like, you can, contribute your own OSS project. I don't know how to do that. This is like, I'm not a developer. So this is gonna be giving you more points though. So if you're a developer, you should definitely uh, pay attention to that. And then there's gonna be more quests coming on uh, in, this, uh, in the future. Then there's gonna be staking. I probably recommend doing some type of staking once it's actually uh, gonna be you know coming out and there's gonna be a new quest line coming out in six days. And these might be over after, yeah, the long quest line is gonna be ending in six days. Then it's gonna be Jasmine. So they're gonna be going through all the teas. I hate tea, by the way, I just really don't like it. But yeah, pretty easy quests. And yeah, just do them, okay, just trust me. Then we have a big meme coin launching on Polkadot called Dead. And it's actually been getting a lot of attraction because Polkadot doesn't have any airdrops really going on right now. And it's simple airdrop. You only need to hold Polkadot and based on the Polkadot holdings that you have in your wallet, you're gonna be getting dead. But there's also the Zeely campaign right now. And at this point, I'm like thinking that this is also gonna be getting you some extra rewards. So you might wanna consider doing these. These are pretty easy, no money involved. Um, doing invite quests quiz. I think you know, might need to like download something or at least provide proof that you downloaded something. I mean, I mean, they're not really that strict on those rules, but whatever, a couple of social tasks, it wasn't really that hard. And this is probably going to be a, like a big token, at least on the Polkadot ecosystem. So, um, and I don't know if you're going to be getting paid, if you're going to be holding Polkadot on an exchange, maybe Binance is going to be allowing it Kraken, but not all the exchanges. So withdraw your money from your broke it out to your own wallet. I recommend the Talisman wallet. Then we have a really big trending DeFi protocol called Athena. And they have these, they have their own like liquid USDE, which is their, like their own liquid token. And you can like lock it or stake it. And let me see if I can actually find. So here you can get different amounts of rewards. So by buying and holding the USD, you're gonna be getting shard bonuses and then locking it, um, providing LPs is gonna be getting UX shards and these shards are gonna be eventually playing into, uh, eventually to the airdrop. Um, I should actually be doing the lock. I don't know why I haven't done this, but this is done on Ethereum mainnet. So I understand there's gonna be gas fees really high right now. So you might wanna wait but at least you can buy it right now by, there's an inbuilt, you can any stable coin basically support it to convert into USDE. But there's risks obviously involved with these stable coins, decentralized stable coins, but they have a good promotion going on and there's been a lot of popularity, millions been already staked on their liquidity platform. And there's a limitation of 200 million. It's currently at 160 million. I think around 10 million per day is being filled out. So if you're watching this video on late on March, probably filled out uh, at that point. And then let's move into our two last platforms. We have a Playbucks campaign in partnership with OKX Wallet. And it's simple Twitter quests. 
and daily check-in, which I think might cost gas in Binance Smart Chain. Yeah, six cents per check-in. And this is gonna be getting you points. I don't know, is there any other ways to basically get points? I mean, you can buy these lotto things. I'm not buying them myself, but it's something you can do. And then there's a leaderboard, obviously. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much, there's not a referral program for this one, but um, yeah, not a one to basically look into. I don't know much about the Playbox thing, but hey, it's resting on OKX, which is a big exchange. So it might be worth something. And then our very last airdrop, we have the Bus Squared or the B2 network, which is one of the many Bitcoin layer two blockchains right now. They have a similar campaign to Manta and Blast. Obviously, many people have differing opinions about that. But the one difference with this one is it has unlimited referral code. So basically, you can sign many people as much as you can without having to worry to meet the milestones. So that's something I actually like about this thing. And you can bridge multiple different assets here. So it's not just... Uh, for BNB chain, you can put FAUSD. Um, from Polygon, you can deposit Matic, USDC, USDT, Ordinals from the Bitcoin mainnet or SATs. So a lot of different things you can basically bridge in. And I have so far put out like roughly $400 here. Maybe I will be allocating more. And the unlock was, I believe, claiming assets on March. So I guess next month you're gonna be, a, no, withdrawals are gonna be on post-April. And yeah, and they do have another social media campaign as well, which doesn't cost you any money, just has a couple of tasks. And that's another way to earn also. I'm gonna be leaving that link also down below. But that's basically what we have to do. As you can see, a lot of things going on. I had to really choose which ones to leave out and which ones to leave in because as I said, we, we are expecting almost like two airdrops per day for the rest of the year or something. It's going to be absolutely crazy. And a lot of these things haven't been even announced. There's going to be ninja airdrops coming out like out of the windows and etc. But now it's time to grind. Now it's not time to cry and whatever fuck you've been doing the past months. Let's grind together and join the Telegram and the Discord for the latest alpha and the latest information. And obviously check out my airdrop spreadsheet and my airdrop playlist here on YouTube where you can find guides for specific chains. We got still a couple of ones to cover. X1, testnet, probably something that people want to see. And maybe you're going to be doing some type of poll for an X1 as well. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.